What if you can notify team members of a job form submission based on the area that they want to contact? Well, that is possible with an integration. So let me show you how right now. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and on this video, I'm going to show you how to notify your team members on Slack. That means that if we receive a form submission for an accounting situation, we're going to send it to our Slack channel that's based for accounting, where team members for accounting are going to be there. Or what if it's for sales? Well, we're going to notify sales personnel on that channel on Slack. For that, we're going to divide where we're going to send these notifications to, and they're also going to receive the submission. So let's get started. This is my job form dashboard, and we're going to get started with a blank form for testing purposes. So let's go into create a form, start from scratch, classic form, and it does work with car form too. Let me drag in some basic elements like the name, the phone number, and we're going to add a drop down menu for this and the email at the end. So this drop down menu would be, for example, area to contact and the options will be, for example, accounting, sales, marketing, and so on and so forth. Okay. So the idea is that if they select accounting, it's going to notify the team members on the accounting on Slack. And if it's for sale, it's going to notify the sales team on Slack. This is a really great way to really optimize time where it doesn't take as long to go ahead and open up an email, read it, and it's just way easier and practical to do everything on Slack. Okay. So we've created this. Now, if you integrate directly here on Slack, it's going to send every single submission to one single channel on Slack, which is what we don't want right now. We actually want to divide this by areas on the personal that's on Slack. Okay. For that, we're going to use webhooks. Okay. So let's go ahead and select this and it's going to ask us for the webhook. Now, in this case, I am going to use Pavly Connect as the bridge between job form and Slack, but you can also use make Zapier or other integration apps out there that will make the bridge between these apps. Okay. So let's get started by creating the flow. We're going to name this, for example, job form and Slack. Let's go ahead and create this. And this is going to open up the automation builder. Now, the first thing we want to connect is job form because that is what's going to be the trigger. So let's go ahead and select it. And the trigger is going to be when we receive a submission. Okay. So let's go ahead and select new response. We're going to use this webhook. So let's go ahead and copy this, bring it into job form. Let's add the webhook. Bring it into job form. Let's complete the integration. There we go. Let's go ahead and finish this up. Let's go back into job form and it received the value where there hasn't been a form that has been submitted. So there's no label and values. So let's recapture webhook responses. Here we go. And let's go back into job form. Let's open this previous form to fill it out once. Okay. So I'm going to say George Aguilar and the phone number, just make it there. Let's do accounting and the email test at test.com. Let's go ahead and submit this. And we receive the first submission here on Pally Connect. So let's give it a few seconds. And here it is. Now we have data to create our automation to designate where this is going to go to. Okay. All right. So the next step we're going to do here on Pally Connect is create a router. So the router is going to be the divider to designate if it's going to go to accounting, to sales, to marketing, etc. All right. So the event here is going to be conditionally run. Let's go ahead and connect. And now we have two routers. We're going to add one more because we have three areas in this use case. Let's go ahead and rename this so we can locate it really easily. So this one is going to be sales so updated. Rename this one. This one's going to be accounting. And the last one is going to be marketing. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and update this. And then we're going to start with the first one, sales. Set filter as the action step. So let's go ahead and select this. And the first thing that it's going to ask us here on the router is the filter. So it's only going to continue if a certain piece of that form that's filled out is going to continue. Okay. So in this case, from the form, from the new response, we're going to select the area. Okay. So in this case, the first one is sales. So if it equals to sales, let's go ahead and run this test. And since that demo that we filled out right now on the form says accounting, that's why it says error right here. And it won't continue because it's not looking for sales. If this was accounting, it would continue. So everything's fine. Don't worry. Let's click on the next step, which is going to be connecting with Slack. Okay. Let's go to Slack. Before we continue, we need to create these channels on Slack. So let's go to Slack. Let's create a channel. The first one's going to be accounting team. 
hit next we're gonna leave this private public all right here we go we're gonna skip this for now let's create the next channel which is gonna be marketing team let's hit next create and the last one is going to be sales team all right let's hit next create and we're good to go so now we have our accounting team marketing team and the sales team so obviously we're going to add the team that is based for marketing for sales etc all right come back to to Pally connect so in this case the action is going to be send channel a message so let's go ahead and select this let's go ahead and connect in this case we're going to add a new connection and we're going to connect with slack okay so it's going to ask for the token type that means in this case you have the option for user or bot in this case since we're just going to send messages bot is going to work just fine okay so let's go ahead and connect if you are not connected in slack go ahead and select the workspace and it's going to ask you for the link on slack okay so in this case we're going to allow there we go it's been connected and now we're able to select our channels so here's the channel and we're going to select for example the first one that we said is going to be for sales okay let's come back here the channel is going to be the sales team find it here it is the message we're going to grab it from the response on job form and in this case we can designate every single of these variables in our message based on what we want or we can do the whole thing with pretty so if i if i select pretty it's going to add all the data from that form or we can just say for example name and then from the responses we can add each one of these elements and it makes it a little bit cleaner and nicer to really demonstrate what the message was okay for example let me go ahead and add everything right here okay here we go so this is the message and this is how it's going to be structured we can change this we can make it um, more appealing with icons etc but we're going to keep it really simple in this case okay we can also change the image url the image alt text but the bot name in this case i'm going to give the bot name job form so we can locate it really easily and we know that this is coming from job form okay let's go ahead and save and send a test request remember this one is going to go to the sales team so let's go into slack and here it is name last name area and phone number so each time that this is filled out it's going to notify the sales team that there has been a new submission and it's for them okay it's like for their area okay so here we go let's finish with this one let's go ahead and close the next one is the accounting route so let's select, select here and again from the response we're going to select the area and if it equals to accounting it will continue here we go let's go ahead and send and save a test request remember last time that we tested this it says it, it, it was an error because the test that we ran didn't say accounting in this case it does say say accounting but it's still going to work as it as it should okay so working fine let's continue let's go ahead and select slack here here we go the action event is going to be sent channel message let's go ahead and connect and since we've connected with slack already all we have to do is continue there we go select the channel and this one is going to be accounting team the message we're going to use pretty for this one which has all the details there but it's not structured just to give you an idea how it works okay the bot name again i'm going to say it's job form here we go let's go ahead and save and send the test request let's go into slack and accounting should receive this data right now here it is all the details from that submission let's go ahead and close this and the next route is going to be for the marketing team so let's set the filter let's select the designated area here it is area two this one is going to be marketing and it should say unsuccessful for this case error okay but don't worry again as i mentioned before it's because the test variable that it's using right now is doesn't say marketing in this case so let's select slack right the event send channel message let's go ahead and connect again we've already previously connected to slack so we're good to go let's select the channel this one is going to be for the marketing team the message i'll do pretty again just for testing purposes here it is there we go the bot name dot form you can also add images and files to this if the form has it available okay here we go let's go into slack and we should be getting that message here in marketing team okay so let's give this a test right now okay so just make sure that this is turned on here on pally connect and it is so it should be ready and working as it should okay so here we go let's preview this form again let's fill this out with test at test 
and the phone number i'll just make a different phone number and the area we're gonna say that we want to contact the sales team all right and the email test that test.com let's go and submit this here it is we just got the message on the sales team okay let's go ahead and test this again let's go to preview form again and let's fill this out really quickly with demo data and we want to reach accounting is fine so let's go ahead and submit this let's go into slack and we should be getting the message well right away here it is john smith phone number and the area so if i'm a team member in the accounting team i'm gonna get this message really quickly on my slack when i have my app open when i have it on desktop and it just makes it super useful to have these notifications right away when someone submits a form to a designated area so it's a great way to optimize your team's time and the response time to your clients your fans or however you want to designate this so please let us know here in the comments what you think about this integration with JotForm and slack and what you would like to see in the future don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.